Careers with STEM were all about presenting careers in science, technology, engineering and maths, or STEM, in a new way. We want to challenge the perceptions around STEM, what STEM careers look like and who works in STEM, as well as looking at sectors that are set to boom. The opportunity for young people with STEM skills is exploding, but not enough of our students are taking up these challenges. We wanted to create a large scale STEM careers information platform that would debunk stereotypes, celebrate exciting and diverse role models, and break down study and career pathways for students, as well as their teachers and parents. So we created Careers with STEM. My name's Karen Taylor-Brown, and together with my business partner, Heather Kutchpole, we created the Careers with STEM platform back in 2014. I come from a media background where I used to work for magazines like Cosmopolitan, Dolly and Clio. I love how edgy images and snappy stories can connect with people, inspire them and influence their actions. While I liked working with the Glamour titles, I was most inspired when I found myself working at Cosmos Science magazine. That's Cosmos, not Cosmo. Finally, I was working for a magazine that published stories about life-saving scientific advances, space exploration, and ways to make our planet more sustainable using cutting-edge technology. And it was at Cosmos where I met Heather, my Careers with STEM co-founder. I've worked as a science journalist, producer, editor, and education specialist. I'm passionate about storytelling and our ability to connect young people to new ideas, broader diversity, and planet-saving initiatives by engaging them in STEM. We decided to combine our skills and develop a platform to inspire more young people to pursue courses and careers in STEM. So why is STEM so important? We know that STEM jobs are growing faster than other jobs. STEM careers have grown by 79% since 1990, but enrolments in STEM degrees are at an all-time low compared to 20 years ago. We know that STEM skills are useful to almost every career. 75% of today's fastest growing careers require STEM skills, while 82% of employers say they value STEM skills, even if they're not required for the job. Also, as our world becomes increasingly connected and competitive, our challenges become more complex and we need a higher level of STEM literacy and teamwork to solve these problems. It's a fact that STEM jobs need diversity. Despite the job opportunities, just 16% of STEM professionals are women. Also, just 20% of regional Australians work in STEM. Diverse teams are better at problem solving because when non-diverse teams approach a problem, the solution can miss the mark. Like when Amazon created AI software that shows bias toward recruiting males for tech careers. A STEM foundation can help young people prepare for rewarding future careers. While we don't know what jobs will exist in 10, 20 or 30 years from now, we know that with STEM skills, students will be prepared for anything. In creating careers with STEM, we wanted to focus on three barriers that we thought were limiting the number of students choosing to pursue STEM courses and careers. The first is stereotypes. Many students have a narrow perception when it comes to visualising a scientist or a politician. Just look at what you get when you do an image search for a scientist, and it's even worse when you search for mathematician. We show a different type of STEM professional in careers with STEM like engineers Amy and Sharnika from Google, who studied biomedical engineering and now work in technology, or Tamina Pitt, who wanted to use her tech skills and law know-how to change the world, and Dean Foley, who is using technology to teach Indigenous entrepreneurs key skills. Michael Shuick from Brisbane gets paid to play games. He works for the Australian company that created the app Fruit Ninja. And there's many, many more. Second is the lack of diverse role models and people to look up to in STEM. At Careers with STEM, we carefully select the people we choose to profile. This includes being representative of gender diversity, cultural diversity, regional diversity, diversity of ability, and LGTBIQ STEM professionals. Our goal is for every reader to find someone that they can identify with in Careers with STEM. Finally, there's a lack of clarity around career paths and opportunity. Plenty of students think you need to be super smart to work in STEM, but there are many ways to reach your goal and the path isn't always a straight line. STEM professionals can gain employment in areas including design, social equity, international relations, sports, retail, banking, real estate, games, education, fashion, and so much more. And whether you choose vocational or uni pathways, the most important skills you'll need on your path to rewarding work is your passion, teamwork, and adaptability, added to STEM skills like problem solving and digital capability. 
At Careers with STEM, we talk about how STEM skills can provide a foundation to doing what you love. We call it STEM plus X, where X is your passion, a problem you're trying to solve, an area of opportunity, or another field altogether. Here are some examples we've covered in Careers with STEM. Lily Cerner is a mathematician and television presenter. She's best known for her role on the Australian game show Letters and Numbers, and she's now taking a lead role in changing maths perceptions. She works full-time for Atlassian, Australia's most successful tech company, as a data scientist, and her goal is to ban the term, I'm not good at maths. This is Nathan Adler. He's a UNSW graduate. He's always loved building things, and he was also really into the outdoors. He created SurfSense, which brings the world's first real-time coastal wave monitoring infrastructure and notification system to beaches. Databoy is a platform that measures the features of swell and surface waves. When Shana Esterhausen's father moved from Africa to Australia for work, the family initially slept on mattresses on the floor as all the money had gone toward the move. She's now a founder and designer at her label, Mac Clothing. She works with 3D printed materials and use bioprinting techniques to ensure her fashion label has an environmental footprint of zero. Daniel Peltran is a performance analyst at Collingwood Football Club. He always loved working with numbers, but he came into his element when he found in them something else that he was passionate about, football. At the football club, he measures the stats of 3,000 players each year to help the recruitment team monitor who's performing well. Amy Shee Nash has forged a path to an amazing career as Combank's General Manager, Group Data Science. Amy has a PhD in data mining, a Master's in Artificial Intelligence, an MBA, and she holds multiple patents. She's determined to help shape the next generation of great, diverse minds in data science. Vivian Chan is a UQ science graduate who is the CEO and co-founder of Sparrow, a scientific discovery search engine which combines human and artificial intelligence to help everyone access the science that's important to them. Luke Sutter is using his passion for fitness and mental well-being to help rugby players compete at an elite level. He studied psychology and combined with his love of sport, he became an exercise scientist and a sports psychologist. You can search people and careers by STEM Foundation or their X on the Careers with STEM website. Careers with STEM resources are freely available to students, teachers and career practitioners thanks to the support from sponsors and partners, including Google, the Commonwealth Bank, and Ansto. Careers with STEM includes a print magazine, which is mailed to every Australian secondary school for free each term. Each issue focuses on a different STEM foundation. So in term one, we have science. Term two is maths. Term three, engineering. And term four, code. We also do STEM career deep dives, where we drill down on a particular industry in which demand for STEM skills is booming, like cybersecurity, digital retail, and data science. Each magazine is also available as a digital issue on careerswithstem.com, and there you can find STEM news, career tips, as well as quizzes, videos, and competitions. Also on the website, you can find hundreds of current STEM stories, searchable by the STEM discipline or your ex. There's over 300 profiles, including special sections on women in STEM, Indigenous people in STEM, and young people in STEM. You can also search these people by their STEM or their X. There are also free teacher resources, including worksheets linked to each specific issue, free downloadable posters, a weekly e-newsletter to keep across what's happening in STEM careers, and regular events. Check out our events page for a list of the events that we're involved with. Since Careers with STEM started, We've distributed 1.5 million magazines to high schools and STEM outreach programs. We've connected with over 100,000 students at over 500 events nationally. And our digital reach exceeds half a million. We're excited about the future of work. The opportunities are constantly changing and technology is making our lives easier. STEM skills are not just about science, technology, engineering and maths. STEM is also a way of thinking and working together. We'd love to connect with you. You can sign up to our regular e-newsletter, follow us on social media, or join us at one of our events.